YouTube, what's up, man? This is a brand new gameplay. This is Mutt. I believe it was Mutt Seasons. Might have been Weekend League. Whatever it may be, I'm playing Henny Chulo. If you guys play on the leaderboards, all man first string, I'm sure you've ran into Henny Chulo. Now, this guy, Henny, has always been like a lab rat, always found different things in running the game, and always been a heavy blitzer. And I'll tell you, this is probably the best blitz I've come up against on Mutt Head to Head. He definitely was sending six every play, and it was really screaming at me. Uh, and you'll see how I handle it and how it gave me problems to start the game and how I adjusted throughout that. Here we go. Start the game early, sending everybody, but he hits a hot little dot. I actually put two flat routes over there on the left side, and you'll see he really, you know, abuses that most of the game as good players should abuse, you know, a high-low read on the left side. And I started out sending everybody, and he dotted that real quick. So I give up a quick seven. It always sucks to give up a quick seven, especially, and you see right there, he blitzed the whole team, but he left the flats open. That's something that's important, chat. You got to realize the flat is going to be open. Here you go, sending everybody. Look how many people are in my head. I try to do a crazy throw with Michael Vick. Now, believe it or not, more often than not, he makes that throw. That's why he's the best in the game. Here we go, Julio Jones holding on to a big play on third down. Get to another first. Now, you see this pressure that I'm under. Bang, almost gets sacked. Get rid of the ball. But there's someone coming to get me every time. So here I go with a little baby curl over there because when you run this wide trip, so you kind of force them to get out of cover too. Here I go looking up top for the big bomb. Moss can't come down. Good defense. Wasn't really open. But like I said, this wide trips will force them to be to not be in cover two and deep blue people. As you see me there, again, hitting a quick flat, man. This wide trips really spreads out the defense. Who he almost got me right there. He actually covered the flat. Lurked the in route. I should have went to the, the high ball over the middle of the field. Once again, you see the flats forcing him to put a flat defender out there. Because I'm so spread out, he cannot run a space cover to him. You see, trying to hit that seam down the middle. Michael Vick overthrows it, though. Just really, here we go. We see a flat again. This time, he tries to put the linebacker in a hard flat. You see this blitz is in the 4-3 package. So, there's a lot of linebackers out there, and they start in the box. So, it's hard for them to shoot out there and cover those flat routes, man. So, that's something I really like to look for. Try to throw it in the back of the end zone. I actually subbed in Tyreek Hill. Forgot to take him out, thinking that was Julio Jones or Calvin Johnson trying to get a high ball. And, of course, you know, it doesn't, he <laughs> doesn't go out of bounds. It just hits his feet, and he picks it off easily. So I turned the ball over on my first drive, man, but I know I'm going to be in for a handful because I have to deal with this blitz. Speaking of blitz, we're sending the dogs at him again for the second drive. Jalen Ramsey making a big play there, so I'm still sticking to my idea of blitzing everybody. Good punt return, man. Just a terrible punt by him. He only gained 26 yards on that punt. He was going underneath. Spin move backfired on me right there, trying to get out of trouble, but I actually gained no yards on a completion. Looking for a flat route again. He does a good job. Only rushing three here. You know, I've been expecting six, so every play only goes with three. Kind of boxes me up pretty good on that play. Next play, he sends them all again. Look for a high ball. Hits broken up by Dion. Not there. Have to settle for three. He had that first seven, man. But, but always take your points early in the game, knowing you're going to get three or four more possessions throughout the game to build on that. I feel like I want to get some stops. I enjoy playing against tight formations. Not base aligning my people and being able to go ahead and really send some heat after him. That's my idea. Here you go again. I'm seven, sending six again. This time he hits the lower flat over there to Jerry Rice. Patrick Peterson comes up and makes a tackle. Patrick Peterson is still probably my favorite corner in the game. He go all day again with nickel normal high ball. I can't get a hit with Sean Taylor. We know that animation. I know you guys hate it. That one hand animation. You just cannot hit stick it. Next play goes up top, hits another corner route. I'm seeing this nickel normal, sending everybody's really not getting any type of sheds. It's bothering me because I'm sending so much pressure. Here we go, hit the flat route again. Great animation for him. Almost gets in the end zone. Sean Taylor holds him off. I go to my 3-4 package under here. I got my man Leonard Floyd, and that's why we put him in down here inside the 5. We will not get highballed in our face. We have a 6-6 six -six linebacker that can jump with any of these wide receivers. Come here take the ball it looks like that pass was intended for me once again rushing everybody i'm able to hit that throw this time with michael vick i slowed down a little bit set my feet like i said i'm still looking for the deep ball this time i go all streaks cover three just trying to fit that one in there i can't get my high ball that was in hella traffic to randy moss but that's what we pay him to do once again now i hit a little baby out i told you he's going to start putting a lot of deep blue zones and not just playing cover two so we have to hit that Next play, high ball, Michael Vick overthrows. A little bit of traffic. Michael Vick is going to do that from time to time. I think every quarterback overthrows the high ball. 
Once again, we're looking for a deep pass. We notice, like I said, he's putting everybody in a deep blue. We call a timeout to give my receivers some health right there. Use the playmaker, Kem. Make them bite, go down on that playmaker. There it is. Hit that crossing route inside the 10-yard line. He's using his timeouts. Run play, man. If my team is is weak at any position, this offensive line is hard for me to run the ball in the end zone. Go with the curl over there to Julio. Broken up. I promise if I high ball, I get that one-hand catch and it's a completion. But I try to possession catch it to no avail. Throw the ball in here to Ricky Williams. And, of course, I get tackled five yards from the out of bounds, but they carried me out of bounds to save him his last time out. Brutal animation for me right there, man. I cannot, you know, go out of bounds there and allow him to not use his timeout. Calvin Johnson, once again, coming down with the high ball in traffic. He's going to no huddle right here. He has one timeout, 20 seconds. I might have used my timeout there just to save this time, man. Right now, it started with about 25 seconds, already down 10 seconds. This is looking like it's going to be one of the last plays. He actually cooks up a great play right here. I remember I man up the guy on the right. Should have man up the guy on the left so he can't playmaker him. I bite down. He's running. No need not to throw that on the run. Could have set your feet, hit that dot, get a field goal. Instead, he throws, rolls to his right, throws off the run, and it goes out of bounds. Michael Vick, man, he had time to set his feet. He drew up the right play, just didn't execute with the quarterback well enough. But I was lucky he did not complete that because Michael Vick does make some ridiculous throws. So we go to halftime. I feel okay. I feel okay on defense. I might switch it up. I might go to a little more block shed, rush three and four, you know, try to play a little bit more coverage. I notice he's kind of hit me with short flats, double flats, man. I want to try to open the playbook. I want to see what else he has. Maybe take that away. Maybe force him to go try to go a little bit deeper. A lot of times with players, man, when you stop rushing that many players, they start looking deeper. They think they can get bigger plays. That's when you get sacks. That's when you get turnovers sometimes. Sometimes kids are so good, and here we go. The little one step to the right. See, people will say this was lucky. They'll say it's lucky that I broke that tackle, but I want to let you guys know I hit him with the mean one cut to the right, shook him off, Deion Sanders to the end zone. And when you're dealing with a blitz that's hard to block, you're dealing with a lot of coverage changes, you're having to make reads every play, it's always great to get a kick return touchdown. Super lucky, but at the same time, that move was dirty. And we went ahead and took the lead on a kick return. So here we go. I'm going rushing four with a spy. I feel like the spies kind of impact the offensive line a little bit. The offensive line looks at him, and you see I'm just getting tons of pressure right here. More pressure now than when I blitzed uh, six and seven. Once again, we see him with this pop-up kick. And for some reason, when they punt the ball or they kick it off, your players cannot touch the ball without falling on the ground. But anyway, back to the flat show. Hit Randy Moss on the flat. He covers the flat that time. Go over here to the baby cross. Say he's, he's turning his cover two into three deep blue. So I had the option. And there it is. Flat, 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 flat. And we get him to go with the cover two. Hard flat. Hit him with the outside high ball. The same type of route concept that won me so much money against problem in the Madden Bowl. Hit that high ball, that, that seam or that fade to the outside in between the corner and the safety. That's when it pays off to continuously take your flats. And you just see this guy is not looking for his flats. Once I start rushing three and four, he's going with all these crazy route cams. Every single receiver is past 10 yards. So that gives my defensive line so much time to get there. As you see, Pat Pete, we got to take that one. Patrick? So there we see. Get him to a fourth and 21, and Jadavion Clowney just is not going to have that. That's the sack I needed. That's going to end the game, man. He's going to tap out at this point. Because he's down 20 to 7, really doesn't have an answer, man. Being able to spread out that defense, no matter how fast your linebackers can get in, it's hard to cover the entire field in wide trips if you're blitzing six people. Because I have the ability to throw to the flats, the ability to throw right down the seam on a streak. It's so many options available for that wide trips, man. And if you're interested in the wide trips, I'm working on the ebook now. It's either going to be Green Bay or it's going to be Seattle. I'm seeing which other formation. Or which other playbook has more formations to go to. So I'm really going to break it down. But I'm working on that now. So if you checked out any of my Madden Turf stuff. As we see this pick right here from 6-6 Leonard Floyd. That was a huge play in the game if you look at the score 7-3. to But if you looked at any of my Madden Turf before. There is a link in the description. If you had the all access. You're already going to get the new ebook that I come out with man. And you already got the New Orleans ebook. You already have my defensive ebook. And you already have the Mike Skimbo New Orleans or uh, New England Patriots gun bunch. So it's tons of things there for you to get at Madden Turf. That link is below. So check that out. Any of these games you guys want to see live, you can check it out on my Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash dub dot 
Also, that is also in the description below, man. Get you any needed gaming gear if you want it, man. Neededgamingstore.com is in the description as well. I appreciate you guys checking out the, the video. Please hit that like button. Please hit subscribe and hit that bell.